seen 9,000.40 and a quarter. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to make a deli wrap, a stamped deli wrap paper to use as a background for greeting cards. Now, there'll be a list in a little bit, you know, a little captioning going on. So, um, yeah. So I chose a butterfly theme where, you know, you can you can use whatever theme you want. Or no theme at all. You can just grab your stamps and step them on there, okay? But I'm using butterflies. And that was a foam pad I put underneath there to help get a crisper image. Because this stamp, for whatever reason, is just not stamping that good. Could be operator error. But we're not going to blame the operator, okay? Okay. <sighs> so glad you're joining us for our Ipsa Daisy Hop. <laughs> Please be sure to check the uh, description box below. Click on the word more and it will show you more information along with links to fellow hoppers and uh, ingredients that were used in this here video and uh, links for where other places you can find me if you so choose to find me ah. thanks for liking subscribing if you're not already a subscriber super thanks for sharing mm -hmm. and please be sure to leave a kind comment not just on my video but on those of my fellow hoppers all right uh, we want to encourage you to art and craft in a way that makes you happy. All right. We hope to offer you inspiration and encouragement to, to be brave and just do it. I mean, it's only paper. Most often it's only paper. Okay. You already have it. You can recycle it if you don't like it, but I bet you will. Mm-hmm. Practice, practice, practice. So I'm using uh, very, what, blue and green, because they go good together. And black is a nice little pop of black. So, and I'm turning the paper to uh, give it a uh, multi-directional page. So, yeah, it's not all just one way. You do it the way you want, though. Mm-hmm. To make you happy. If it doesn't make you happy, why are you doing it? Just saying. Oh, goodness gracious. Now, if my voiceover gets wonky to the video, it's because I sped up parts of it and it just tends to make my voiceover go wonky a little bit. Okay. Speaking of wonky, hit gun. <laughs> Y'all. Oh. So there's the instructions on how to make a wash. That's that leftover sludge in the bottom of your bottle that you can't hardly get out. Or maybe it's just really old paint. All right. Yeah, good. Either. Yeah. Either and are. So there we are. Be careful. Don't rub too hard or you'll make your paper get all fuzzy like. And that's just weird to have fuzzy paper. Well, unless you like it fuzzy. We're going to use matte medium to adhere down our uh, now decorator deli wrap mm -hmm. you don't want them big old puddles like you see on there I'm going to be picking them up and sticking them over on a uh, on a pallet also known as a small sandwich plate okay I'm going to save it because I'm going to use it again in a minute mm -hmm. don't, don't throw it away let's see what oh and with deli wrap you can uh, move it a little bit don't get overzealous about it, okay? And don't push too hard, because it'll it tear when it gets, starts getting moist and wet and stuff. Unlike tissue paper, which tears easy. And napkin, which tears easy, okay? So, that needed a little more juiciness on there. So, we just did it. And uh, we're going to be drying this with the heat can. Heat can. In a minute. And uh, when you dry, you want to dry from both sides. If you're using a heat gun, use caution because, you know, they get hot and they can make bubbles. Mm -hmm. It's steam. The surface will get dry and underneath it still be wet or damp and then it makes steam and that's what makes the bubbles. Pretty sure. 
That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <sighs> Drive from both sides. He can. Y'all told you it was coming. I told you. Musical, musical interlude. It's a musical, musical interlude just for you. Just for me. Just we. Musical interlude. <sighs> Did I already ask y'all to do thumbs up and subscribe and share and kind comment? Oh, probably. If not, I just consider yourself asked it. Now, um, when you're, because we're going to cut mats, deciding which way I want it, and I wanted it that way. I can get four out of this. Um, the mat you're going to want to keep appropriately sized for whatever card base you're using. Mm -hmm. Or not. You can actually cut these in strips. You can dock it. You can do anything you want with this stuff. All right. Just saying. Just saying. So I have little strips left over. I'm going to hang on to them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're going to go in my my do something with pile over there. Okay. Yeah. That's what's going to happen to them. And these are uh, pieces of uh, strips of black cardstock. I'm cutting down a little bit. Because we're going to glue some uh, die cut letters on there. And then we're going to stick that on the greeting cards front. Inside's going to be blank. I think we're going to leave it blank. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure. I'm going to use some other die cuts that uh, I use. Uh, glitter paper. Okay. Yeah. So y'all saw how I inked my edges. Yeah, that's how I ink my edges. You it can ink yours whichever way it makes you happy. And you, you know, you don't even have to ink the edges. Just saying. All right? Because you really don't. You don't want to. You don't have to. Nobody's forcing you to do nothing. Now we're going to use a strip of um, washi tape. More or less going to line it up so I'll have uh, a sort of straight-ish line to uh, put my letters on. Down to, you know, yeah. That's how I do it. Maybe not all the time, but often. Oftentimes. So our video was supposed to be uh, no more than 10 minutes, and we had to teach you something. I hope you are learning something. All right. I hope so. Those there are pop dots, you know, the little sticky foam things. Mm -hmm. They're squares. They're not actual dots, but it still works. I'm using a needle to pull, help pull that little paper off the back. Pretty much going to do them all the same. Now, I did, could, that's glitter paper, die cut butterflies. Couldn't decide if I wanted one or more than one. I actually ended up just doing one because, yeah, I thought that looked it the best. Sometimes simple's the best. You don't have to keep on and keep on and keep on unless you want to because it's your art. All right. Now this here is my uh, a little door stamp I designed years ago, and I've used purple ink in you know, my purple door studios. And I tend to stamp that on the back of pretty much everything I do. Pretty pretty much, Perla Lady. That's how they talk in East Texas, Perla Lady. And um, that's a date stamp. You saw my other date stamp there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw the, I, well, I'll put it in a recycle bag because that's old. It's out of date. My date's out of date, y'all. Now, put a little something, something on the outside of your envelope there. Be sure it's not going to be in the way the uh, in the way the postal office because, you know, they can be upset about that. And that's our set of cards. There's four of them. I'm really happy, and I hope you're happy. And I would like to encourage you to follow the links and enjoy the hop. And maybe next time you can hop with us. Until then, thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.